We did a 2018 related update to this, so you know what? We might as well do it to this one as well. Here is our 2019 kind of related update, even though I should have done this at the very beginning of January and I'm kind of really late into this. Hello everyone, it is me, Jared Gaming here, and welcome to what might be happening in 2019 versus what happened in 2017 to 2018 and what's been going on with my channel and whether if it's going good or bad and I'll, I'll get into the details of what I mean by that. So, so far in 2019 we've kind of started off really slow. We've kind of started in this really slow, uh, we kind of started in this really flat slope but then eventually over time as it went to nearly May uh, the slope kind of got a lot more steeper somehow like for some reason my Smash Bros. Ultimate video kind of got more popular and um, Because of that Single-handedly that that was the main reason why I've been doing a lot more Smash Ultimate content was because I was wondering Hey since people actually watched that one will they watch my Smash Bros. Ultimate videos if I try to post them out and the answer is no Sadly, no. In fact, they're getting the same amount of views as I get in every single Splatoon 2 video, or less. <laughs> Which is kind of sad, to be honest, because I like I really like putting hard work into editing Smash Bros. videos, to be honest. And just to be heartbroken. I want to say heartbroken, but just to be, um... Just to be... Ref just to be hit with the fact that they're not going to get any more, you know, views or any more love than, you know, any other Splatoon 2 video, even the 1v1 videos. Um, then, um, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, actually, speaking of the 1v1 videos, let's actually talk about that. So, the 1v1 I did with Morris, which was the, I think, my third or fourth 1v1 I've done, kind of arose because the first time I 1v1 Morris, so he took the victory, but Morris was like, hey, you know what, we haven't done this in a while, so I was curious what happened, what's the difference between you back then and you now? And, um, you know, the difference was huge, he did find that out, and he did find out that he, you know, he needs to practice a lot, but I think what we're talking about, okay, I think what you guys are looking for is, how, why did this start? Or, well, actually, technically, <laughs> See, this is what happens when you try to rant. That technically is the reason why it started, but then it came from the suggestion that my friend Kelp made, which was he's one of the mods of my server for like, I think the past year already. And he suggested, hey Jared, it would probably be a cool idea if you tried to do a, uh, you know, a 1v1 series like that Rockenberg does and all that types of stuff. And so I was like, you know what? I'll think about it. At first I was thinking like, nah, there's no reason to do it because, you know, blah, 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 etc, etc. Why 1v1 videos are, you know, not that great. But then I decided, you know what, actually, no, let's let's take a chance. Let's, let's take a leap of faith and let's see what happens. So I opened up the chat room to, you know, requesting 1v1s. It's been going a little bit smoothly until this month, or until last, well, actually, technically, I think it was, like, in the middle of last month, where a lot of people actually started to come in, and a lot more than I thought, actually, because I was expecting it to be a thing where, like, maybe, like, um, three or four people were going to, like, request it, like, practically every two weeks or so, which was, it's kind of true, but I didn't expect it to become, like, this whole big climb that I had to, um, you know, actually do. And then, especially from the fact that they become more popular to the point that there have been an insane amount of people that are just like, you know what, let's take our chance, let's 1v1 Jared. And, uh, because <laughs> of that, that, that's practically the only thing that's been filling up in my channel for the past, uh, month and a half, or two months, actually. And I, I can tell that because it's been filling up so much, a lot of people were just expecting, oh, so Jared posted something new. Oh, what is it? Probably a 1v1 video. But no, it turns out it was actually an actual Splatoon 2 video or a Super Smash Bros. Ultimate video. But because it's so overcrowded, uh, you know, peop apparently sometimes my subscribers are just blind to just, hey, there's a new content or there's something new. He actually did that as in a Splatoon 2 1v1. But you know what? Who cares? Ha ha ha. Etc. 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 And <laughs> yeah, I. So the 1v1 videos are going to technically come to an end by the end of 2019, and, well, that's all I'm going to say. They'll come to an end in 2019, and hopefully I'll be able to actually start doing, you know, other things, like Gary's My Animations, which, by the way, um, my Gary's My Animations have been kind of taking this weird, uh, angle. 
I'm not sure what's going on with my Gary's Mod animations or my relationship with it, but it's like ever since I've been actually getting a little bit better at Splatoon 2 and Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, I've been consistently playing them more than I've more than it was last year where I was actually making Gary's Mod animations. Like, here's the troubling thing. I think I made six or seven last year. I think it was like um okay, last year I made three up to April. We are already almost done with April. I've only made one. Only one of them. And I think the main reason was that, you know, there, I was having a problem with one of the items in Gary's Mod. But I can't let that be my main reason of why I stopped. I've just the more that I kept going and the more that my uh, actual and real life friends saw. And she's like, hey, Jared, let me tell you why this is, you know, kind of weird. This is cringy and all that stuff. Then that kind of that alone kind of gave me a stop. Like, should I really keep going with Gmon animations, even though, unfortunately, it is literally the only thing people will actually watch. And honestly, that kind of triggers me in a little bit because it means I can't really do much on my own. But I think in some way, I'm trying my best to do something that isn't Gmod animations, mostly because I want to see what my subscribers will do about it. And according to that, it's not doing so great. Which just proves that my subscribers, or 99% of my subscribers who subscribe to me, only came for the Gmod animations, or that popular Super Smash Bros. Ultimate video that I made, but that's about it, and that's what really makes me mad. The, there will only be like a handful amount of people that will actually watch my other stuff that I love doing more than Gmon animations. But, you know, not everyone can be on the same boat, or not everyone wants to be on the same boat. So, with all that in mind, um, 2019 is kind of going really weird for me. I feel like in some way, because it's especially because of the monetization, overall I'm just a much more lazier person now in this year. <laughs> Because in 2017 to 2018, I've been more consistent with my uh, how I wanted to make Splatoon 2 videos, how I uh, wanted to you know do all that kinds of stuff with Mario Kart 8 Deluxe or whatever, etc, etc. Just, I've been a more consistent person last year than I am this year, I feel like. Because, well, okay, maybe discipline the one time I took a little bit of a long break last year, there was at least a lot more variety I was trying to put out you know, 2018, where in this year it's literally 1v1 videos or Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and then everyone just praying and hoping that I just get my Gmon animations done, which, by the way, I am trying to make some progress with it, but it's, it's kind of hard to keep going with something that I'm just starting to lose interest in, and that's what's kind of making it really difficult for me. The more and more I keep playing video games, the more and more I start feeling that th the more I start having a bigger relationship with them rather than the Gmon animations like I'm talking about. And yeah. Another thing that's been going on is uh, my act my acti my inactivity on Discord. Um, let's just say for some reason I felt like um, the more that I talked on Discord, the more that I felt like a completely different person other than a YouTuber. What I mean by that is that there's a lot of people that have kind of I don't want to call them out, but there's a lot of people that I kind of came across that kind of took me as a like, hey, you're just some friend that I randomly met on the internet. It's not like it's not like you're busy or anything. I could just talk to you 24-7, right? That's kind of my problem. A lot of people are taking me as that rather than as a, hey, you're a YouTuber with a decent amount of subscribers. Maybe I should talk to you less frequently than I would, which I'm not saying you should. I'm just saying I would prefer that. And, well, okay, yeah, you probably should. <laughs> Just, uh, it, it kind of stings how I have to deal with the type of people that would really rather do nothing but talk with me for, like, 24-7. Because, again, I don't know why, but I kind of have a problem with dealing with people who just do nothing but DM me, like, practically all day. And, for some reason, I don't know why, I... I just can't handle that for some reason. So that's why I kind of been a lot more inactive on Discord, hoping that people will kind of stop with that. And some have, not all, but at least some have. Another thing that's kind of going on this year is my uh, live streams. Where have my live streams been? It's other than the Cuphead live streams, because they were all kind of terrible because the internet decided to not work with us. Where have the live streams been? It's been like maybe two months or so, and you know, where have they been? My problem is, that's the problem. The internet. The internet, for some reason, no longer wants to work with us anymore. 
in terms of actually, you know, streaming things for some strange reason. Like, every here's the weird thing. After that live stream, I came to check on my internet to realize that it's been working more slowly. And I'm not for sure what caused this. I'm not for sure why this is, you know, happening and stuff. But, um... <laughs> It's, it, it really stings, because I've been trying to also stream more on Twitch, but surprisingly, that didn't even fix my problem. Plus, not only the, that, but the fact that not many people even care about the, the fact that I have a Twitch channel. It's really hard to get a lot of people's attention now, unless I had a, you know, I did a, Hey guys, let me do a short plug-in in one of my Gmod animations, even though that would make my Gmod animations look even weirder, because I did a short plug-in. But, you know... Hopefully, I'll, I'll, I'll find another way, I'll find another way, but as long as people would actually, you know, follow me on Twitch, or follow me on Instagram, or whatever they want to do so they can actually, you know, see the stuff, it, it's probably not going to happen anytime soon. So that's what's going on in 2019. I don't really know what might be going on. My 1v1 videos admittedly may be killing my channel a little bit, but uh, again, channel, 1v1s are ending until like the end of 2019. And then finally, we'll get some actual content in 2020, and hopefully I'll be a little bit more frequent with my Gmod animations. Hopefully I'll be able to graduate from high school, <laughs> and actually be an, an actual person on YouTube. <laughs> so, um, again, I don't know where we're going in terms of, you know, 2019 and stuff, but I hope you guys enjoy uh, just hearing me rant about what might be going on. I feel like that, and again, I feel like uh, 2017 and 2018, in some level, were kind of a better year than uh, this year, especially with the fact that Splatoon 2 game, the Splatoon 2 game as a whole is kind of dying since, you know, all the updates and stuff kind of finished. I mean, I will absolutely play it, but I can't really find a reason to make content of it, and that's my problem. So, again, hope you guys enjoy hearing my rant. If you did, give it a like, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. Please, for the love of God, follow me on Twitch, follow me on Instagram, and follow me on Twitter. If you want to, you know, see my other stuff that isn't just, you know, hey, let me show you guys some really cool gameplay that uh, not everyone cares about because they only care about Gmon animations. That's what kind of makes me triggered. But, uh, hope well, hopefully I'll get, I'll, I'll do something, hopefully. But, um, I'll see you guys in whatever we do next. Take care. God bless you guys. I'll do what I can to continue my Gmon animations even though I kind of don't want to, but who knows. See you guys in whatever we do next. Take care. God bless you guys.